Is Cattails Wildwood Story worth buying? The new Cattails game is available on Steam for PC and Steam Deck for about 20 bucks, and it's currently on sale too. But Nintendo Switch players will have to wait until 2024 to play it. I have spent many hours pawing through Cattails Wildwood Story and will share my honest review of the game to help you decide if it's right for you. What is Cattails Wildwood Story all about? Firstly, know that Cattails is an amalgamation of life sim, survival, RPG, and dating sim genres. The game begins with your cat colony being frightened and homeless, seeking refuge in Wildwood and looking for a place to establish new roots for their feline family. You get to choose from five different biomes to live and then, under the guidance of your spiritual leader, the Forest Guardian, you and your colony begin to focus on the plot, growing your colony and gaining influence throughout the Wildwood lands to learn more about the dark force that permeates your world. Within the new temple that your colony has constructed for the Forest Guardian, you'll see all of the cats that you can recruit for your colony, as well as what items you need to gather and gift in order to convince them to join your alliance. As you explore and forage, you'll discover the dark ruins, which are occupied by evil forces that you must banish by completing puzzles and battling bosses. You'll also find mini games and power-ups hidden throughout the various biomes. Throughout your journey, you'll have to keep an eye on your health and energy, hunting and harvesting herbs to quench your physical needs. When you're not exploring and puzzle solving, you can seek daily quests to complete via the bulletin board, donate materials to the colony stockpile to unlock daily perks, go gem hunting in the mines, which are run by adorable mole critters, and also work on your relationships within your community because there is dating and the ability to raise a litter of kittens. As you gain XP, you can spend this to unlock and strengthen special skills which you can equip, such as shield, teleporting back home, injuring enemies, friendship boosting, and much more. Another question on the minds of Cattails fans is, how is Cattails Wildwood Story different from the original Cattails game? Well, the original Cattails released in 2017, and Cattails Wildwood Story began development in 2019, so the team has literally spent years adding to and fine-tuning the story, art, and mechanics. They've rewritten the game's engine, created new art, have a completely new soundtrack, and have written a new story and added new surprises to the gameplay. How does Cattails Wildwood Story run on Steam Deck? The answer is simple, perfectly. Seriously, I played Cattails for hours on my Steam Deck and it worked flawlessly right out of the box, so to speak. Neither the controls nor the settings needed to be changed and I had absolutely no issues with the gameplay on Steam Deck. The game is obviously well optimized for console gaming and it's one of the few games that my old eyes can handle nicely on the smaller screen. Plus, there is cloud save, so I can easily grab my Steam Deck and pick up where I left off on PC and vice versa. Until Cattails Wildwood Story is available on Nintendo Switch, if you want to play it handheld, Steam Deck is the way to go and makes for super cozy gaming, especially when snuggled next to your cat. What did I love about Cattails Wildwood Story? After playing for many hours, my two favorite aspects of Cattails Wildwood Story are the customization and the aesthetics. When you begin, you have tons of customizations available for your kitty character. I was able to create a doppelganger for my cat Paisley, who is white with a green eye and a blue eye and wears a collar with a bell. You can create your own fur color pattern if you want and also choose from 10 different meows and fine tune the pitch. 
Then you get to customize your colony's name, your title as CCO, that's Chief Cat Officer, and your group's family shield. Finally is my favorite, the gameplay customization. This is where the magic is, as you can control the difficulty of the cat fights and hunting, as well as how quickly the time passes. Cozy gamers, pay attention, as this is the secret sauce to making Cat Tales Wildwood Story as chill and relaxing as possible. And this is what has kept me glued to the game instead of frustrating me with difficulty and rush gameplay. Plus, you can easily edit any of these customization settings at any time, so you don't have to fret too much over your choices. So next is the aesthetics, or the underlying tone and style of the new Cattails game. The pixel graphics are bright and cheerful, but the feelings you get while playing are overwhelmingly peaceful, but with a twist of ominous undertones, especially in the swamp and the volcano biomes. But as you begin to explore at various times of day, you'll notice the shadows and reflections cast upon the shimmering water that changes to gorgeous raspberry and crimson tones towards sunset and later reflects the sea of stars from above. You can purchase a headlamp to illuminate your way through the woods as you hunt for nocturnal creatures. The underlying mood also changes throughout the four seasons, which only have 10 days by the way, so it's ever-changing, which I love. My third favorite aspect of Cattail's Wildwood Story is the variety of gameplay. There is so much to do. Your main goal is to gather items to help recruit new colony members and utilize this cat power to expand your influence and overthrow the evil spirits. However, if you don't feel like doing that all the time, you don't have to. Instead, you can spend the day mining for gems and hidden treasures, tinkering in your garden, or exploring the wilderness for secret puzzles and power-ups. Or you can focus on foraging and hunting in order to make money to buy coveted items in the shop. If you prefer to chat with friends, you can do that too. And remember, you eventually can find a partner and have a litter of kittens. I'm super excited for this. There are also festivals each season with mini games to help earn special items and powers, or you can spend the day redecorating your home. I was surprised at the item options for home interior customization, and they're all free too, so you can decorate to your heart's desire. I've played about a dozen hours of Cattail's Wildwood Story, and it truly is a struggle to think of changes I'd like to see in the game. However, one change I would like is the ability to have a single press map button. I'm always getting lost because there are about 49 different zones on the map, and to pull up the map, it takes two button presses. There is a mini map at the top right, but it's very small and I find that it's not overly helpful when I'm far from home. Secondly, it could be helpful to provide a bit more guidance for beginners, such as notes on where and when to find the more rare items that are needed to recruit the new colony members, or a reminder to visit the scratching post in your home to unlock and equip skills, which are very important in battles. And the construction projects still confuse me as I don't know how to harvest wood or begin community projects. So a bit more assistance for newbies could help alleviate some early game confusion. Unlike the original Cattails game, Cattails Wildwood Story has succeeded in maintaining my interest and motivation to continue playing, which is saying a lot. In my opinion, what people will love about Wildwood Story is the customization of the visuals and game settings, the cute graphics and cozy aesthetics, the variety of things to do, and the underlying story, which is intriguing yet doesn't take away your choices in how you play the game. So for about 20 bucks, you can have a cat-themed life sim survival RPG game with a bit of romance sprinkled in and raising kittens. 
it's almost like a cat-themed Stardew Valley. There is a bit of fighting, but thanks to the difficulty settings, you can dial it down to a very manageable level. I think that the conflict adds depth and excitement that cozy games sometimes lack and makes me fall asleep. Overall, I think Cattail's Wildwood story has a good balance of action and relaxing gameplay, plenty to do, and is a beautiful and heartwarming experience that animal-loving gamers will appreciate. It gets two paws up from me. If you would like to see a beginning walkthrough of Cattail's Wildwood story, check out my first look gameplay up above. And if you like cute and cozy games, please consider subscribing and smashing that like button. Thanks so much for watching. Psst. Before we go, I thought you might like to see my cat Paisley. This is the cat that inspired the character which I created for Cattail's Wildwood Story. You can see she has a greenish yellowish eye and a blue eye. This is known as heterochromia. And no, before you ask me, she is not any special breed. We adopted her from a shelter and her mom and siblings were all different colors. So she just happened to have heterochromia and is a white cat. She's super adorable and I love her. Now it's the end of the video, for real this time. <laughs>